the true purpose of the lift leg is it's a joystick to the hip. Wherever the lift leg's gonna go, the hips are gonna follow. Once you get it under control and you know when the timing of that occurs, the two other functions on the lift leg are it can support you getting the load into the back hip, which is critical. As you lift, it can help you kind of transfer, even internally rotate to push the load into the back hip. Then the third and final purpose would be adding more momentum, not creating momentum, adding momentum. How do it add momentum? It would just basically get up above the center of mass or hold up with the center of mass and kind of add to the weight of you falling down. That's why if you keep your lift leg here and go, not as much momentum is gonna be created as if you get your lift leg above your hips and fall. If you go really aggressive, it can probably have more of an effect, but in the, the day, you only can work with so much. It's what your body can handle, your back leg can work with. Going too aggressive can actually sometimes cause more problems than good. So you need to really find what works for you, but most important, understand those three purposes of the lift leg.